Hi everyone, I'm here with another tutorial. This time we're going to talk about movie clips, so let's uh, get right into it. Uh, let me just make the stage black one more time so it's easier for, for you to see. Okay, so basically, what what is a movie clip? If you really want to know, it's just a, a, an animation within an object. So right now, it's hard to say. You won't be able to really know just by words, so I'm just going to go right into it and show you a practical example. So I'm just going to uh first of all press control go to uh, insert and a new symbol or you can press the shortcut control f8 so if you click new symbol i want to make it a movie clip i'll name it first underscore movie clip so mc and it's going to be stored in the library root folder so uh, all of this is set just click ok and you'll be in inside your movie clip now so inside your movie clip, you can make a short animation sequence or whatever you like. You you have your normal timeline, as you would when you're making your animation or you're at the root of the stage. So I'm just gonna make a simple animation. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me see. So make that transparency 100. I'm just gonna make the fill nothing. I just want to make a simple ripple animation. So I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna make a very simple ripple. And I'm just gonna do this by using one movie clip and you'll see how it works. So this is the one movie clip. I'm gonna create a motion tween. So I'm gonna press F5 over here because I'm using um, the new motion tween system. I press F8 to make this into a graphic. You could also use a movie clip, but I'm going to choose a graphic. So, and this is also stored in the library root. Just hit OK. And on the last frame, we can go here, make the size bigger. And then you can go on the side, go to the color effects and the properties panel for the circle. And go to the alpha and make the alpha zero so that basically means that it's transparent now and if you make it 100 it will be opaque so as you can see the circle has just disappeared but it's, it's still here so if I select it you can see there's a box around it which means the circle is still there it's just um, transparent so then I'm gonna go right click and you know do the regular motion tween uh, press F6 in the end uh, oh, I just did this incorrectly. Let me just uh, fix this problem. I didn't press F6 at the end, so I'm uh, just going to quickly fix it. There we go. Now, if I press enter, we have our little one ripple. And I am done making my movie clip, so I'm just going to go back to scene one. I'll go to my library. And right now there is no animation here, so if I press enter, and I'm pressing enter at the moment, uh, nothing's happening because I have no animation over here. However, I have a movie clip which has an animation in it. So I'm going to take this movie clip, drag it onto the stage, and I will make put this on layer 1. This is ripple 1. Then to make several ripples, I'll just make I'll make four ripples, so name all the layers respectively. Two, ripple three, and the fourth one. So, at the, the initially we'll have ripple one start at the beginning, and we and ripple one. If we double click, we can go inside the movie clip. So if we choose the cursor, and we double click we see that ripple one lasts for nine frames one short of ten so uh... we're gonna make go back here and we're gonna make the first layer existent till the first nine frames and then we're gonna do the same over here but we're gonna start this on the tenth frame for the second ripple so let me uh... adjust it so it's properly so my bad so that was the fourth ripple i'm gonna delete this if you press shift f5 we can delete keyframes so ripple 2 will start when ripple 1 ends or you can even get it to start 
while you're in the middle of uh, Ripple 1. Actually, that will probably be a better effect. So, I'm going to start it while you're approximately in the middle of the uh, Ripple and have it go for another 9 frames. So, from here, which is about 6, and then plus 9 frames from here. So, approximately till there. And right. Oh, and also make sure that you drag your ripple object in here. So, say I'm going to do the same for the other ones. Okay, so one more left. I'm pressing F5 again. Put this in, and let's just align all of these. So if you go to Window, and if you go down to the Align panel, uh, hit Two Stage, and go to the first one. You want it to be the absolute center. Uh, take the second one, do the same thing. Third one, same thing. And the fourth one. And now that you have this, if you close this panel now, and now if you press Control Enter to preview the actual movie, you can see there's a ripple. Very simple animation. And uh, if, as, you see, as you saw, that ripple is very fast. If you want to slow it down, you take the frames per second and notch it down to whatever uh, your preference is. So if you press Control Enter one more time, you have an animation there. So uh, in the older Flash, uh, the frames per second were 12, so that worked usually very well with animation, and it looks pretty good. So and that's it. That's what you can do with the movie clip. So basically, double click and you can go inside and you can edit the animation too you can make a shape twin if you'd like anything and uh, it's very simple